All right, guys, today I'm changing out my stock airbox on my 2000 Honda Civic HX with the AEM short ram intake. Uh, I'm going to walk you through what I'm doing to remove this stock airbox real quick and then show you how I'm connecting everything. And here's our ugly airbox. So the first thing I did, just to see where this box was connected at, is take off these two uh, 10 millimeter nuts, and then they are loose. They have these rubber grommets here, but they are loose with the box, so. Um, then there's this grommet down in here. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try to get to it. It's that thing right there. And this box is just sort of slid on to the side of that. So since I can't push it up to get it off that, I had to take off this intake hose first. So I can get this loose and slide the whole thing forward off that grommet. So to disconnect this tubing, first thing I did was uh, disconnect my negative terminal on my battery and uh, then I unplugged the mass <coughs> absolute pressure sensor uh, just because these hoses here are like stiff and metals so I can't bend them to pull out this uh, vacuum hose. So, I had to disconnect this sensor uh, to have some room here to move all of them together hooked up. Uh, disconnect the, the IAT sensor and take uh, inlet air temperature sensor. Um, used some needle nose pliers or whatnot to take these little clamps off or I actually held it open and then slid this out and this this little flexible piece gave me some wiggle room to slide that out so now everything is disconnected from the inlet pipe so I'm gonna slide this thing off and hope that I can get that off that grommet down there be right back all right so uh, one thing I forgot to say real quick is of course you have to loosen this hose clamp which holds your uh, tube onto the throttle body there so after I got that loosened this sucker just pulled right off and then just like I thought I just got in here and tugged this way on it and got it off that rubber grommet so now I'm completely disconnected here I'm gonna take a look in that throttle body. It's pretty clean. Might get in there with a soft bristle brush and just wipe out any little residue that's in there. So yeah, once you take off the stock air tube, um, then it's easier to take this sensor out. <clears throat> There's a little clamp here. Squeeze it with pliers and then pull that thing out you'll need it for putting on the new intake all right so the next thing you want to do is before you put on the intake you want to put the filter on just because it's easier put the hose clamp over the end there um, I wouldn't suggest tightening any of the hose clamps yet until you know the fitting is right so put that on uh, then you're going to install this rubber grommet here in that old nut hole then the second thing is to slide this sleeving onto your throttle body and slide on the two hose clamps again don't tighten those just yet then you slide in your new intake into that sleeve make sure everything lines up okay because um, you want everything to reach like I had to 
cut a little bit of this uh, electrical tape and housing from the wiring harness so that I would have you know, a little more room to clip in my uh, sensor there. Now AEM gave me two rubber grommets for the intake pipe. One for this hole which I slid in the sensor into that grommet and the other rubber grommet goes here and this is for your stock uh, PCV breather hose. Now I was trying to use my stock one but it's really metal and hard um, this section is and all these are sort of linked together with a clip and I can't get it out of there so uh, I slid this pipe into that grommet there and then found out that this end was eh, a half an inch too short for me to clip on so I just went to an auto parts store and bought a foot of 3 8 hose and there are either two things I could do with this uh, the first thing is I guess I'm going to try it out without the stock pipe or hose there sorry you can just simply put this end on this nipple and this end on the intake nipple uh, AEM sent me uh, this little rubber rubber uh, nipple cover in case I wanted to use my stock one so since this didn't work I guess I'm gonna use the uh, the little plug they provided me pull this back out and put the plug in there instead of the grommet uh, take this off and connect the hose to these two areas and see how that works out um, if I don't like the way that this thing is sitting or hanging there or if for some reason my sensor wiring doesn't reach when I pull this out then I might just cut this hose and just simply connect these right here. Okay, well when I went to the shop, they sold it by the foot. So I went ahead and got, you know, just one foot. And it ended up actually being a nice fit there. So what I did was, I took out this uh, stock pipe, or out of the, um, the hole here, took out that rubber grommet and put in the uh, rubber plug there. So that's plugged up. Then I went ahead and attached one end of the hose <coughs> here and one there. Put on those. I used my stock clamps because they didn't come with any, so didn't come with the hose either. So I wouldn't expect it to come with the uh, clamps. But it looks like it'll work out just fine this way. Uh, sort of. What I did with this rubber grommet is, <coughs> since the end of this piece is metal. I didn't want it to scratch up my intake there, so I just put that little rubber grommet on the end of the pipe there and sort of shimmied this unit underneath my intake, and uh, that way it can rest under it and not scratch it up because that rubber's there. And this gives me plenty of room uh, for these wires to have slack, and these wires to have slack. So I think I'm pretty good to go here. I'm going to start it up uh, after I tighten all my uh, hose clamps here and here. Probably tighten this down a little bit too. I left the uh, stock resonator piping in just because it's really not in the way. It might be a, a tad tight here, but it's not harming the filter, so I'm going to leave it in there. I guess I could always take it out later, so I just want to make sure there's uh, no problems here and it runs okay. 